Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 5. Um, ignore my hair, I'm literally about to go blow dry it. But I wanted to show you guys kind of what I do to get ready. I'm more so, I'm obsessed with my skincare routine just because I feel like Skin Farm has like fully transformed my skin. I do use like a tinted sunscreen. I do use a sunscreen every single day. That glow screen is amazing. I have been like trying to keep a little bit of a glow situation happening on my skin just to make it look kind of, I guess the term that a lot of people use like a glazed donut. But I will say like the one product that is really, really helpful for that is this Skin Farm Glow Factor. It's one of their like serums that they have on their website or at their store that you can just add after your hydraulic acid or whatever it is like right before you put your lotion on. And I swear, I didn't even realize it was doing that until I ran out. I was like, why is my skin not looking as like smooth and as bright? And I swear it's that specific product. So every time I'm out, I like call, I like text my girl, I'm like, hey, I'm out, I need some more of that because it's just so good. But they do sell it on their website, but I will say that was like a great stocking stuffer idea. I'm considering getting it for a few people just for the holidays as like a thank you kind of thing. So loyal to Skin Farm because they have, like I said, completely transformed my skin and I'm like so grateful for it. But today we had, Shay and I had a slow Sunday morning, Taylor actually went to go play golf, so he is gone for forever, it feels like. I feel like when guys go play golf, it's like they're just gone for so long. So I washed my hair today, which I only wash my hair like two, maybe three times a week. I hate washing my hair. It's just like such a pain to blow dry and like do all that, especially with a toddler who doesn't want me to wash and blow dry my hair. She wants to be involved. So. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna try to find some sort of activity. I really wanna like do some like painting with her. We have painting supplies, but I think I wanna like get some sort of Christmas painting thing. Um, so maybe I'll, if I have time after I blow dry my hair, I'll go with her to do that. But if not, this afternoon after Taylor's done golfing, um, we're gonna go to this, don't mind me, I'm sitting on my floor now. We're gonna go to this, um, german christmas market in atlanta we were gonna go yesterday but it was just raining and just kind of gross out and today is literally the only day that it's not supposed to rain for the next week which is really annoying <laughs> so we're gonna try and make the best of it and go outside and do this christmas market um last year we went with shay and she got to pick out an ornament for the tree so we want her to pick out another ornament this year anyway i'm gonna go do something with this little lady um after i blow dry my hair because it's getting wild but i hope you guys are having a good one and i hope you're having a good weekend as well and we'll talk to you later <laughs> figured I'd share my little Sunday outfit of the day. Um, this is usual, not just like a Sunday thing, but ugh, this light is coming in so harsh. So hopefully you can see this. This is all old, you guys. Like none of this is new. This is old Zara. It's one of my favorite like comfortable cropped sweaters that I got from them. Um, I actually got it when I was pregnant so I could look, wear it like over my bump and I still wear it to this day. And I just have like a plain white t-shirt underneath it. These joggers are very old, misguided. I don't love misguided's quality, but I have held on to their joggers, so. And then shoes are New Balance, which are also classic, so. I really, I really feel like I need to start investing in better quality pieces. Like I literally haven't been shopping for myself, like clothes wise. I mean, I, I say like I haven't been, I just bought some stuff from Zara the other day, but I just like don't buy myself clothes as much as I used to, which is probably a good thing, but I need to start finding pieces that are like more long-term and better quality. Shay, 
She's cracking me up right now. What do you have in your mouth? Is that a bandage? Where did you find that? <laughs> so hopefully this year I'll start to be able to do that so I can share with you guys like current pieces. Cause I feel like people ask me all the time where did I get something and it's like a few years old, which again, it's not a bad thing, but I just feel bad because I can't really link anything similar. So I'm gonna go see if I can find her a little Christmas art activity to do. So that's what we're doing on this fine Sunday. In other news, my car, the right, left, like the driver's side wheel, the tire just like keeps, like the air keeps going down. I think I have like a slow leak that comes out of it, so I have to refill it like every so often. And it used to not be that big of a deal. Like I would be able to, it was like every now and then I'd have to refill it. Now it's like every day and it'd go down to like 23, which is so low. So I think I'm gonna have to schedule an appointment this week to um, either get a new tire or see if they can find where the leak is and fix it. But what a pain, you guys. <laughs> like, just when you think you have everything together, something goes off, right? <laughs> so Target now has a Ulta in their store and I have been wanting to try this. They have a whole like IGK section. This was one of the products that I wanted to try, the antisocial, which is um, this bond building dry mask. It, I don't know, I saw it on TikTok, duh. I feel like that's where everything starts these days. This was the other item that I wanted to try, but it's obviously sold out, so it looks like it's a good one, but I think I'm gonna put this in my stocking. Okay, so Target always has this section. And so we're actually gonna do, we're gonna paint one of these guys. But then I also got this kit, which is like ornaments, but it comes with paint, like holiday paint. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, this is kind of cute. That might be kind of advanced for shadow, but. Yeah, they have like other activities too. So we're gonna go paint. I also got like totally um, distracted by all of like the beauty section. I think Shay's ready to go because I've literally just been like in the beauty section, but I just need to grab a few more things and then we're gonna go. So I wanted to say it's so funny. I was just in Target and somebody was like, hey, you're Sarah Wisted," And I'm just not super used to that yet. Um, I have had a few other people do it before, but it's just like not, I'm not like famous or anything. But she was just like so nice and so sweet. And it's just so fun to meet you guys in person. So thank you for those of you who are following and supporting me. It's truly means the world to me so yeah I just wanted to hop on here and say that because you guys make me so happy and it's just the reason that I continue to do this slash want to do this full time is really because of you guys because it's been so fun to share and so well received and I feel like I've been just finding so many amazing people online so thank you but we're gonna go home and paint some of these um, wooden things that I just got and probably feed Chase some lunch put her down for a nap and yeah, that's the next few steps for us, I guess. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I just put Shay down from a nap for a nap. We didn't have time to do her little paint project. Hold on, sorry. We didn't have time to do her little paint project before. So we came home, got lunch, and then it was just not enough time to like get all that out and start painting before nap time. So um, we didn't do that. So hopefully we'll be able to do that before we go to this Christmas market tonight, but if not, we'll just do it another night this week, but I'm excited to paint with her. She loves art. Like, I think a lot of kids love art, but it's just so fun to see her just, like, think about how things are supposed to go and, like, how she wants to paint and use the different, like, mediums that they use, and I don't know. It's just so fun to watch her grow. Babies are truly a blessing, so it's funny. Like, somebody asked me before, they were asking me like, when did you know you were ready to have kids? And my answer is always, I just, I didn't. I didn't know I was ready to have kids. I never had that feeling that was like, some people get where you're like, I wanna have a kid right this second. I just had this like moment during COVID when I was like, 
okay, I guess now's the time. Like I'm old enough to have my shit together um, and I don't wanna be too old to have my kids. So I feel like now is like the time to have kids. So it wasn't, there was never a moment of me being like, I am ready, I want this baby today. It was just like a, okay, I guess it makes sense in our timeline, <laughs> like let's have kids. But now that she's here, it is bizarre how my whole world has changed, like my whole perspective in like such a good way. Babies truly, truly, truly are such a blessing. I literally lost my train of thought. So I'm gonna actually go back to editing today's vlog and then we'll do the Christmas market later today.